You know, so this video was prompted by a customer giving me a phone call with a problem that they had with their three-point hitch. It wouldn't go up, it wouldn't go down. That handle, the rock shaft control was just loose. It was just free flowing, wouldn't stay in any particular position, no response, trying to raise up his brush hog or lower it back down. It was just kind of where it was. So I know I've mentioned a lot of these kind of through the course of videos, but I thought it'd be beneficial to kind of put a lot of those reasons, those potential things to look for that could be simple fixes into one video here for you. And I'm not saying these are going to work for you, but it's something simple for you to try. Several things that you can look at before you have to call your dealer and take it in for service. It always could be a larger mechanical issue that you have going on, but check the simple things first. Hey, and if you like what you see here, make sure you check out the other videos on the channel. Consider hitting that subscribe button below and also read the description as well, okay? A lot of helpful links in there for accessories and attachments, things you might like for your tractor. All right, here we go. Let's start off with the reason that that customer gave me a phone call. So they had purchased a while back, actually, a tractor with a backhoe on it from me and decided after a period of time that they didn't want the backhoe any longer and they were going to sell it. They'd never even taken it off the machine before and uh, they did when the person buying it came to pick it up from them. Now don't get me started on those backhoes. I've gone all over that in the 13 most overrated tractor attachments that might have been on the list. And so at that point he actually wanted to use his three point hitch here for the first time and put it to work that way. Well guess what? He couldn't get that darn thing to go up or down or respond at all. I wonder what the problem was. Now, given that he had just removed his backhoe and he provided that information to me, it was fairly easy to figure out what had probably gone on, considering he had never done it before. So it's a pretty simple fix, but if you don't know what to do, then it can become a real pain in the butt. And so this connection right here is going to be a hydraulic connection that would actually attach to the backhoe uh, to let continuous flow go through there to operate with the backhoe controls on there, make it go in and out the boom, turn, whatever, dig, all that kind of thing. So when you don't have the backhoe on here though, you need to complete that hydraulic circuit right back through the three point hitch linkage. Otherwise, there's not gonna be hydraulic flow going through uh, the, the tractor transmission and, and machine itself here to make this three point hitch go up and down, respond the way that you want it to with your rock shaft control. And so I've been guilty of this myself actually too when I take a backhoe off. Even though it looks like this is connected, sometimes it might just not be seated in there just right, and so it still won't respond. So you just gotta double check, make sure you have a good connection here, even if it is not responding, because that's fooled me before as well. Check that out for you backhoe owners. Okay, so a long time ago I did a video on this, all right, where you pull your three-point hitch control up, your rock shaft control like this, and it doesn't stay like it's supposed to right here. You know, so this uh, lever here should stay wherever you put it. So if I move it up here, right here, back and forth, whatever it is gonna be, it should stay in that position that I leave it. So um, I had this come in on a tractor, and it's a very simple fix to do, but if, it, if you push it up here and then it wants to drift back down, just kind of go all the way back down like that on its own without you know, putting your hand on the handle, well, check underneath this fender, and I'm gonna post a link specifically to this one uh, where you can take a look underneath the fender. This is gonna be for the one series, like the 1025R, 1026R, uh, for example, where you can take a look, and there's gonna be some other models as well that have a similar setup. You just gotta get underneath there a little bit and take a look for where that nut might be that you have to tighten, but that's all it is. It's simply a nut that is in the linkage here that's a little bit loose and not uh, allowing this to stay in position like it should be. So very simple fix, you just need a, a socket set, some extensions, and you can get in there and take care of it. So another phone call I had at some point down the line was a customer who had called and they were out in the middle of a field uh, brush hogging with their brush hog and their tractor, and all of a sudden, um, the three point hitch just wouldn't respond at all. So it was just free floating, you know, there was no pressure on it at all. They could just move it wherever they wanted, dilly dally, didn't really matter. So there was no response on the three point hitch either. Something just immediately happened. Oh no, the world is probably over. <laughs> at least that's what you think at the time, right? But in reality, it is a pretty simple fix. It's just a matter of finding where it's at. And so think about this, okay? Most of these three point controls, the rock shaft control is called, the handle is gonna be somewhere up over here. And then there's going to be a set of linkages you kind of got to work your way around right to get around everything that's all the different components and the structure of the tractor frame and and assemblies and everything else going on here okay so you have bars and rods and pins and all that kind of thing going from here kind of working its way down maybe back over here over here or wherever it might be okay so all that stuff has to work in unison and if something becomes unattached or disassembled or damaged well that's the problem and so get familiar with your machine kind of have an idea of where that linkage goes. And if you see a random rod or something kind of freely swaying underneath here somewhere, more than likely that's 
going to be part of the component. And so just take that, kind of swing that rod around and see where it naturally lines up with somewhere else. And you'll probably find the mating piece of that and just like a cotter pin or something else that maybe goes through there that is now just missing. So it can be a very easy fix. I know it can be frustrating at the time and maybe you don't have whatever you need out there in the field, but at least it's not going to be an expensive repair. I know you're staring at these dual tires here on the 1025. And so these are a 261212 setup here. So pretty much all the subcompacts, whether it's John Deere or Kubota, some others out there as well. If you're looking for more stability, that lateral stability side to side there, something like this dual wheel adapter kit here, okay? It'll fit right in between here. This is actually a, a double width version compared to what I have on here. I'm gonna be putting this on my tractor soon, but this is gonna give a little bit more space in between uh, the tires here to not have as much buildup in between there as far as mud and rocks and that kind of thing. But I can't tell you the difference in stability. It's just been astounding. You know, I feel way more, way safer, I should say, you know, on my front hills, on my hunting lease, that kind of thing, on those conditions where you really feel that little bit of a, oh man, what's gonna go on here? These things are a heck of a deal. You get 5% off, go to Miller Tire where you can order them. You can get tires and wheels off of there as well. I've also put some links below where you can get uh, tire wheel combinations on Amazon too, if you're looking on there. But these can only be purchased at Miller Tire. Again, 5% off with discount code GWT. So this one right here is something I've covered in some other videos. I want you to make sure you pay attention to the, uh, the quick hitch on the back here. That way you can kind of see the three point hitch as it goes up and down or doesn't go up and down. But what I'm gonna talk about is this rate of drop control here because this is something that can get closed off. And I mean, you would think you would know if you turned this right, but you could have a child or a grandchild just on your machine, just playing with knobs and buttons like they do, you know? Um, but anyway, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and try to lower this down right now. No response. What the heck's going on, right? So obviously there's something restricting that from, or preventing that from going down. So watch this right here. I'm just gonna turn this and open this valve. Basically it's gonna uh, allow that flow to go through the circuit that controls the rock shaft, the three point there. If I open this up, pay attention back there, you'll see it start to go down. If I close it, 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 it stays right where it's at. If I open it up, it'll go right back down again and, and that kind of thing, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine on here and I'll show you what I mean. So that's normal operation, okay? And you can close this at any point. When it's up or down, you'll still be able to raise it up with the valve closed. But now I can't lower it down. It's gonna stay there, okay? So if you wanna have it in a certain position, you know, you just gotta play around with it. Get it to do what you wanna do. So this can be a handy feature for some of you that have a certain application, but a lot of you guys are just never going to use this, but it's pretty much standard equipment on every compact tractor out there anymore. Well, unfortunately, if those items were not able to solve your problem, then perhaps you do have something larger going on. Hopefully these did solve the problem for you because I do feel like it takes care of most of the problems that are out there with phone calls that I get or if you see it posted on a forum here or there. Make sure you check out those forums that are online as well. And if you didn't know, all the tractors that you see here, all the attachments, that kind of thing, those are all for sale. So a constantly rotating inventory of nice, clean, low hour tractors, a lot of new and used attachments as well, and also accessories. So make sure you read through that description below. Go on over to goodworkstractors.com. And if you haven't done so yet, consider hitting that subscribe button below. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.